guys, this video is brought to you by Black Market. Black Market, custom crafts, an array of premium pre-workout products, each formulated to meet your unique fitness goals and training approach. They are experts in the pre-workout supplement category. They own it. They lead it. Always have, always will. Driven to help people look, feel, and perform at their best, Black Market is not a one-product-fits-all company. Each pre-workout supplement is carefully formulated and produced in their own U.S. manufacturing facility. Nowhere else. Quality control and testing are maintained during each step of production. Black Market's lineup of premium pre-workout supplements are designed specifically to help you meet your unique health and fitness goals. But using is believing. So try their product line and experience the difference. Cuts, bulk, fit, pre, tone, stim, and androline are available now at blackmarketlabs.com or just click on the link below. Remember to use the promo code CHAIL to get 20% off today. Adesanya versus Vittori. Guys, I saw something else. I saw a close and competitive fight. I saw a fight where they were trading rounds back and forth. And when the fight was over, I was very sure that Adesanya won. Because in a worst case scenario, it was two to two going in to the fifth and he won the fifth. But I still saw a, a, a fight where I need to hear what Bruce Buffer has to say. I don't know. And I only bring that to you because it was 50-45. That is fiction. That was not five rounds Adesanya. And I even read on the dirt sheets that I go to, the manias and the elbows, the easy night for Adesanya, things like this were said. Are you kidding? What fight did you possibly watch? That was back and forth. That was not an easy fight for Adesanya. Adesanya did two things that were remarkable. Because don't forget, this is a rematch, and we're only here to find out one thing. Between you two boys, who got better? That's the question. Split decision the first time. Which one of you got better? The last time they fought was 2018. By the way, want a fun fact? They fought in the exact same arena. How do you like that? They fought in the same arena. But three years later, who got better? Okay. That answer is tangible, which was Adesanya, but particularly on the ground. He was taken down four times. Two of those four times, he got back to his feet. The other two, he reversed the position. So now you have a decorated kickboxer who was taken over the MMA game, who was in the dominant position on the ground two of the four times it went to the ground. That is meaningfully different than the first time they fought. But to make believe or for anybody to, to write an article that Adesanya cruises to victory over Vittori, I just thought it was a scummy thing to do because now you're dismissing Vittori. You're just complimenting Adesanya. You're kicking Vittori when he's down. And that's not what happened. That was a battle. Vittori drug the champ down three more times than Yoel Romero did. Just to put in perspective, Vittori drug Adesanya to the canvas two more times than Jan Blahovich did. Just to put it in perspective. And the rest of the time, they were on their feet where Adesanya is supposed to have a, a, a very dominating advantage. Vittori was trading. Vittori was getting out of the way of a lot of shots. He was landed ones and twos. He, he got a number of leg kicks. In. That was a brawl. Those two guys went and fought. Bad news for Vittori. He was either striking or he was wrestling. He was, he was right here striking or he was changing elevation. And he was running across the cage trying to get this fight to the canvas instead of doing MMA. MMA, it should all look the same, right? You're changing elevation. Sometimes you're throwing strikes. You're changing elevation. Sometimes you're grappling. You're coming out of the grappling, right back to your strikes, right back into your takedowns. Vittori, it, it was two distinct different sports at the same time. He was distinctly wrestling and sometimes he was distinctly kickboxing instead of putting those together. But I don't agree with the judges' scorecards. I don't agree with people after the fact acting as though Adesanya did what he, he wanted. Adesanya had some, some extreme high points. And those reversals, believe me, have the rest of the division swallowing real deep. There's a number of people out there that have watched and studied Adesanya and believe, whether they've got the skills to do it or not, they believe they at least have the blueprint to beat him. But one constant every time Adesanya fights is improvement. The one constant, if you go watch each in chronological order Adesanya fight, the only thing you're going to come away with that he does differently in between fights is he improves. 
He improves every single time. Those reversals were telling. The conditioning, the calmness, Adesanya checks all of those boxes. Now Adesanya's called out Robert Whitaker, by the way, which Adesanya even said, my nemesis, my number one nemesis, which I didn't know. I didn't know Adesanya and Whitaker were oil and water. I mean, Whitaker's such a nice guy. And Adesanya, you know, Adesanya kind of needs to get himself worked up. But I didn't know that he viewed Whitaker as his top rival. And those guys fought one time. Adesanya knocked him out twice. It wasn't a competitive fight. It was a little bit of a surprise how easy Adesanya did it in the realm that he did it, which is stand-up fight, which is where Whitaker does his best work. It was a little bit of a surprise enough that, yeah, you know what, let, let's see that one again. But where do we go? We were told at one point that Whitaker said he didn't want to do the fight. I, I don't mean right now, but that he was offered it before and said no. Now Whitaker has responded on Twitter and said, rest up, see you soon. I don't know how to interpret that. I guess, I, I guess that means yes. And in all fairness, I, I don't know what my appetite is for. I mean, these guys are going to have to sell me just a little bit. The one person that was left out of the conversation between the, the Cannoneers and the Paulo Acostas and the Robert Whitakers, I thought the one person left out of the conversation who Adesanya was going to pull in was Darren Till. I was a little bit surprised that Adesanya wanted to go on the rematch tour before he got fresh parody. My prediction would have been he went after Till. And maybe that's equally as hard of a sell because of the rankings. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe not. I think people understand that matchup. I think they understand that stylistically. I don't know where Whitaker's at. And, and, and I certainly don't, don't want to rain on his parade. If he's just got called out by the champ and he wants to go do champ stuff, he certainly deserves it. But if he doesn't, speak up. And then let's hear from Till. <laughs> 